Pero nada, tú vas a estar en ella cuando la tercera y no te la mala. Cuando ves que no me cae y no se la mala. Cuando te sientas en la parrilla de la mala. Tú puedes estar regalando para no me hacer nada. Te diré por nada. What's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing a Bad Bunny inspired look. This is my inspiration, his album Por Siempre. First thing I'm going to do is draw the eye on my forehead just like it is on the album cover. So first thing I'm going to do is draw the circle in the middle and I'm going to use this MAC lipstick just so I can do a perfect circle. I'm going to use the NYX eyeliner and this one is just in white. I'm just gonna grab a wipe and fix this part right there that I messed up on. So now I'm gonna draw the actual eye shape. Now I'm just gonna fill this in with the white eyeliner. And then I will go over it with the Kat Von D White Owl Brow Pomade. Um, but that'll be after I finish the eye part. So now I'm gonna draw another circle right in the middle of this. Just a really small circle like this. Next, I'm going to go in with the NYX lip liner, and this one is an amethyst. I'm just going to start doing little lines like that all around. So now I'm going to do those little lines again on the outside of this smaller circle. Next, I'm just going to fill in that inside right there with a black, and I'm using the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner. So this is the eye. After I'm done with my whole face, I'll go and clean this up like the outside because it didn't look so even and clean, and then I will go in with the... Um, Kat Von D brow pomade and white out to just make it a little whiter. So para los ojos, I'm gonna be doing an all black eyeshadow. And personally, I love a black eyeshadow. I love how the all black looks. It just looks so pretty to me. Anyway, we're gonna be using the Morphe brushes palette. We're gonna be using the 35C palette and the 350M palette. Starting off with the 350M palette, I'm gonna go in with this color right here, and that's gonna be my transition. Wait, what the fuck? I haven't even primed or set it. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, I got my wisdom teeth taken out last week. And then I fucking got sick. Like, that was so annoying. I'm still sick, but it just sucked because, like, I had just gotten my wisdom teeth taken out and then I got sick. So, y'all can imagine how I felt. I felt like shit. Like, you already feel like shit when you're sick, but imagine, like, with your wisdom teeth on top of that. I'm finally able to eat like, food because all I was eating was like soup, ice cream, yogurt, pudding, all these soft foods, and it was getting so annoying. I was so hungry, like I was craving pizza and burritos and all this food, but I couldn't eat because it just hurt. And then even for Easter, my family made food. We had hella shit, we had like chicken, steak, tri-tip, ribs, like nopales, rice and beans, and I couldn't even eat it because it hurt. Like yesterday, I was craving In-N-Out. I don't know why, because I don't ever really crave In-N-Out anymore. But I was. And so I went to go get some, and it was so good. So now we can go in with that transition color. So now we're going to switch over to the 35C palette and we're just going to use the black that's in this palette, this one right here. So we're just going to use that black and pack it on the lid. I'm gonna grab a different brush and I'm gonna go in with these grays right here. So on Sunday, me and my boyfriend went to go see La Llorona and I thought it was an alright movie. It wasn't too bad. I gave it like a 7 out of 10. He gave it like a 4 out of 10. He was more disappointed. But it wasn't scary. I feel like a lot of scary movies aren't scary and they're like most of the time they're always pretty predictable. But I still fuck with scary movies. But there hasn't been like a scary movie that has actually like scared the fuck out of me. Now we can just clean it up and put on the lashes. For my eyelashes, I'm gonna be using the Home Girls lashes. And I fuck with this packaging so much. Look how fucking cute this is. I love this packaging. I'm never throwing this box away. And these are in Gemini and I love how the print is in Old English. I just fuck with the whole thing. So I'm going to add some mascara. I'm going to be using the Makeover Essentials Eye Dazzle Duo. 
And I've never heard of this brand before. My boyfriend actually got me this. I guess he was just at work and some dude came up to him and was like, hey, you want to buy makeup? I don't know how it all went down, but he bought it. And it came in this little bag. And then it came with um, an eyeshadow palette. And with this, which I'm so excited to use this, is a makeup remover cloth. So I guess you just add some water and it removes your makeup and then you just put it in the washer and reuse it, which is pretty cool. I wanna see how this works. But I have to wait on this because we just ordered a new washer and dryer and they don't come in for like a week or something. So, and I don't wanna use it and then have like makeup on it and wait like till the washer comes so I can wash it. Like I don't want it to be all nasty. I guess this is an eyeliner too. It's pretty cool because it's like on one side, like usually it's double sided like that's girl on this side, eyeliner on this side, but this one's like all on one side. It's pretty cool. It says right here, eyeliner and mascara. So this top one is for the eyeliner. And then this second one over here is the mascara. Oh hell yeah. You see this? This is my type of brush. This big brush. I like this mascara. You guys can't really see because my eyeshadow is black, but it makes your eyelashes look long and thick. And just how I like them. Time to put on the lashes. Holy shit, my eyes look hairy as fuck. These eyelashes are so big. I've never worn eyelashes this big before. Okay, moving on to our face. So for my foundation, I'm gonna use the Lancome. I think that's how you say it, that's how I'm gonna say it, but this is the Ultra Wear Foundation. And I'm in the shade 270. For my highlighter, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Highlighter and Trophy Wife. And it kind of matches my nails. Now, going back to the eye up here, we're going to finish fixing that. Next, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner, and this one is in Provision. And I'm just gonna use this eyeliner to go around the purple. And I'm gonna do the same thing, just do little lines. So now we're gonna add the Kat Von D Brow Pomade in Whiteout. And let me tell you, this shit is a bitch to take out from your brush. It like stains everything. So I just washed this brush by itself, but it's so annoying because it, it's hard to get all of it out, and it does stain your hands like while you're cleaning it, if you clean it with your hands. Um, Cause I clean my brushes with my hands. Um, but yeah, it's hard to take out. So just keep that in mind, this is kind of a bitch to take out from your brushes. So once I filled it in with that pomade, I'm gonna go in with my concealer and clean it up, make it even cause it does look a little uneven. I'm going to use my Bare Mineral Concealer in Medium Golden. And it probably looks weird because it's just white. Like, it would look better with a black outline and probably lashes, but... On his album cover, he only has the white, so I'm just doing it exactly like it is on his album. So I'm going to go with the same Urban Decay eyeliner, and I'm going to outline my lips and probably fill it in with this eyeliner, because I'm like almost, I'm like completely out of my black lipstick. I'm just going to use what's left of it, and this one is a Lime Crime Lipstick in Black Velvet. And the very first time I ever did a black lipstick was with an eyeliner. I think I was just like having a photo shoot and I was like, I want to do something different. And I just had like a black eyeliner. So I just like put it on and I was like, okay, I dig this. And this eyeliner is so good. It's called the 24 seven glide on eyeliner cause it does just glide on, it's super smooth. eyeshadow to my lower lash line and finally we're just gonna write hold siempre right here and I'm gonna use the NYX white eyeliner to write that I'm so pissed my dumbass was obviously looking in the mirror and I wrote it backwards I'm gonna 
just broke off. I'm gonna switch and use the Kat Von D pomade. I feel like it'll be easier with this. So this is my Bad Bunny inspired look. If you guys like this, I give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe. The whole world knows who I am. But who are you? Nobody. You nobody. Motherfucker. I surround. I surround. The whole world knows. Even you know. I'm the one. Who the fuck is you? Nobody. Motherfucker.